Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be doing a new video this weekend, going over the last week in the OTC markets and taking a look at uh, my outlook for the coming week. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and meant for information, informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, the red subscribe button, and the little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks you're going to be covering. Stocks like MNMD at 60 cents, GGII at 0.005. A A A B M L at six cents and A L P P at seven and a half cents. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code followed by your number. Never begin the format with zero zero. So for the U.S. and Canada, you simply enter one plus your area code and number, and you're all set. It's very important to be signed up for the SMS alerts as many times. We do uh, SMS alerts only as it's the fastest way to get an alert out to our subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Um, it was not a great week in the OTC. I am not uh, happy with a lot of the price action that we witnessed. Um, there's really only two stocks worth talking about. Uh, MJWL, which we just did a full article on the, on the site. Uh, MJWL stock set, set to be the next big crypto runner. I highly recommend you go to uh, insiderfinancial.com and check this article out. I also have linked in the description. Uh, so that you can you can check it out. Um, this is one we uh, alerted to our subscribers last week, um, or actually beginning of the uh, the month uh, when it was under a penny. So uh, this one has turned into be a nice win for our subscribers. Um, the next one is GGII. Uh, it became pink current on Friday, and it was a little bit of uh, sell the news. So uh, it had a, had a strong open, uh, and then uh, some profit taking throughout the day. Stock still ended up 10% uh, uh, on the day, but uh, if you look at the charts, uh, it still looks really, really good. Uh, it's trading above the the 200-day, 50-day, and the 20-day. Um, we think this one has a lot of potential. Um, I've done an in-depth article on this one as well. Um, you can go and check it out. Uh, GGII stock, nickel, dime, quarter, dollars. So. Uh, wrote about this uh, beginning of the month. Uh, our subscribers are doing really well with this one. Uh, this is a, a favorite of ours. So, you know, right now, um, there's, there's just a handful of names that are really working out. Um, most of the OTC sucks right now. Um, ABML, this is a, a favorite of ours as well. Uh, subscribers got alerted at six cents on this one. Uh, it's uplisting to NASDAQ, so uh, really, really like this one. Uh, it held the 200-day. Uh, this was a, a dot, bottom dip buy that we talked about in April. Came right down to the $1 level um, and uh, the 200-day. So, folks, uh, you know, I'm not a, a chartist, but I, I keep things simple. So, you know, I'm not into the whole MACD and a lot of uh, complex uh, uh 
you know, charting software or anything. I like uh, whole numbers, one dollar, two dollars. You know, uh, those are very, very critical levels. Uh, if you if you look at charts, uh, you'll see these whole numbers are are very key. Um, and they just work. So uh, it came right to the dollar. Uh, we're back above two. Uh, we think uh, this one's going to play out like MNMD, um, which is another of our favorites. Uh, go over here to the stock. Uh, you look at here what happened. Um, this was uh, last month when it got notified it was uplisting to NASDAQ. It ran to uh, 550 uh, and then you got the profit taking. So, you know, folks, just right now, you know, continue to buy dips, sell rips, book profits along the way. This is really not a buy and hold market unless you have a position or a stock that you really, really love. Um, but you know, I'm I'm just gonna try and caution people to not fall in love with any penny stock. Um, I know uh, maybe some of you are gonna get mad at us or or, or whatever. Um, you know, case in point is 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 humble. Um, this is one we nailed for our subscribers last year at at point oh two seven. Uh, you can go over here and and type in any stock that you are in. Uh, and check out our coverage, uh, TSNP. Uh, we said back in uh, in November that the the merger was a really big deal. Uh, this was on November 13th. Uh, you go back here to November 13th, and uh, it closed at uh, 0.036 that day. So. Uh, uh, just a tremendous runner last year. Um, it was an, plenty of opportunities to buy the dips, sell the rips. Um, but now this is it. It's uh, it broke the 200-day, uh, which is which is very bearish. The 200-day is at 132. Uh, it's trading below the 20 and the 50 days. These are this, these are simple simple charting um, uh, setups that uh, I, we really recommend you follow. Um, and uh, you know it's it's looking bearish. And what happened is, um, Hindenburg Research um, they came out with a damning short article last week. Um, you know we've been critical of Hindenburg on some of their uh, articles. On some of them they've been spot on. Uh, case in point is Nikola. Uh, they na nailed Travis Milton to the wall, uh, and they were right on. And it was something that. Uh, you know, we read their report and uh, and we didn't disagree with. Now we've had a number of people come to us asking us to do a rebuttal article. Guys, we're not insiders. We're not. I'm not affiliated with the company in any way. Um, I'm a, a you know an investor just like everyone else. Uh, we spotted the stock. We explained in in our article in November why the merger was it was a big deal. What was happening. And, uh, you know, George Sharp's involvement was critical, um, but he has since uh, left the company. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, resigned as an ad advisor. Uh, Hindenburg uh, goes into great detail talking about George. And, uh, you know, he has not made a comment about it. So, uh, you know, if he's not going to comment about what Hindenburg has to say, he's an insider. He knows more than we will ever know about the goings-on uh, behind the scenes of, of Humble. So if he can't comment or defend it, uh, how can we? So, uh, you know, we're just waiting for George to come out with a comment and, and say uh, what's going on. Uh, and then uh, if we agree and, and, and we uh, accept his uh, explanation, we'll, um, uh, you know, follow up and, and, uh, and make our assessment. But, right, you know, right now um, there's been no rebuttal to the Hindenburg report. So uh, we will wait and, uh, and see what comes out. So don't look to us for uh, uh, the rebuttals um, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, what's else? Uh, AABB, I'll be writing, coming, talking about this one this week. It's trading above the 200 day. Uh, this one's got a little bit of a rounding bottom here, uh, up 17% on, on, 
on Friday, so we like uh, the action there. Uh, BBIG, uh, this is one that's a uh, NASDAQ play, uh, popular on, on uh, social media with the Atlas Trading Crew. Uh, they've been pumping this, uh, PJ Matlock and uh, uh, Hugh Henney, Dan Didi Dips, uh, Zach Morris. So uh, it came down to the uh, $2 level right there at the 200 day. And uh, this one's been uh, a steady climber for uh, uh, the end of last week. So uh, we told our subscribers about this one. So uh, that was a text only alert. So again, that's why it's important to be a, uh, a, a subscriber uh, with your mobile number. So, uh, you know, make sure uh, after you sign up with your email, you then sign up with your mobile number so you don't miss uh, these alerts. Um, the other big news coming this week, folks, uh, our biotech analyst, Chris Sandberg, he's done a deep dive on ENZC. Uh, so we're going to be coming out with that uh, over the weekend, an article, a deep dive on ENZC. This is one that we nailed last year, uh, made a lot of money on, and now uh, the price has collapsed. Uh, I've uh, had him look into it and uh, it's some interesting findings. Uh, we see this one as, a, as an extremely oversold play, so uh, you're going to want to uh, get that uh, uh, deep dive report. So again, make sure you are uh, signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com. This way you don't miss any of, the, any of our coverage. So uh, this way, help, trying to help you guys as, as much as we can. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, we're just hoping that uh, this week is a much better week in the OTC. Uh, hopefully the MJWL and uh, GGII can continue with their uh, bullish uh, momentum through the week. So uh, definitely be monitoring that and also looking for uh, new alerts for subscribers. So, uh, you know, there's still opportunities out there, you know, in a bull market, you're there's a lot more in a bear market. You have to be more selective, and that's what we are doing for our subscribers. So uh, not a lot of alerts, but there's still opportunities. So, uh, you know, let's uh, the market can tr turn on a dime. So, uh, you know, make sure you are uh, signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com. Wish everyone a wonderful weekend, and I'll be coming live to you on Monday with a new video. Thanks again, and chat soon. Bye-bye.